shots today. Get ready for some skull-crushing, spine-fusing, bone-breaking action. And that's just the fans waiting for the restroom. hi -o! I don't know about you, but when I hear Monday Night Combat, I instantly picture Randy Orton, The Miz, Chris Jericho, you know, guys who are actually combatants on Monday nights. But evidently, I'm mistaken. Evidently, this is Monday Night Combat for the Xbox 360's Live Arcade. And this kind of Monday Night Combat has very little to do with professional wrestling. This is a class-based third-person shooter with fun gameplay, a cool aesthetic, and an awesome premise. You see, in the future, Monday nights will apparently be taken over by a new sport. Forget football, forget wrestling, it's Monday Night Combat. And it's an over-the-top new television show in which teams play what is ostensibly tower defense, but with lots and lots of bullets. The objective is simple. Protect your team's money ball while trying to destroy the opposing team. You can shoot as many robots and clones as you want, but headshots and kills are just a means to an end in Monday Night Combat. Your primary objective is to protect that lucrative money ball and when playing with teams, to demolish theirs. So obviously, the game is very lighthearted, and that's what I love about it. It's a really refreshing contrast to the tone we typically see in third-person shooters these days, and that's because of both the goofy premise and the vibrant visual style. Monday Night Combat is a very colorful game with a style somewhat reminiscent of Team Fortress 2. It's very pleasing visually, and it really highlights the game's playful mood. Of course, as playful as that mood may be, Monday Night Combat definitely puts on its game face when the bullets start to fly. The game offers two primary gameplay modes. There's Blitz, in which you and up to four other players battle waves of increasingly vicious robots, and there's also Crossfire, a mode in which two teams of up to six players duke it out to destroy each other's money ball. Both modes are a lot of fun, and obviously they're even better with friends. You've got six classes of combatants from which to assemble your team in Monday Night Combat, ranging from heavy weaponry brutes to more agile characters like snipers. So you definitely have to take a tactical approach to putting together a group best suited to your combat style, and that always makes things interesting in the heat of combat. You can also earn cash during your battles, and you can use that to either improve your skills or bolster your defenses with things like turrets. So all things considered, Monday Night Combat forces a surprising amount of strategy into the action as well. So did American Gladiators, incidentally, and that's what this game reminds me of. American Gladiators, but with guns that shoot bullets instead of tennis balls. You know any game capable of eliciting an American Gladiators comparison is at least worth a look. And although it doesn't have a whole lot of modes or maps or guys named Turbo, Monday Night Combat is still a refreshingly playful spin on the third-person shooter and an awesome idea for a television show.